Hey friends and family, Matt with this week's housing market update. I want to talk about this big headline of the Fed funds rate dropping by 50 basis points. Everybody has been wondering why are mortgage rates not dropping with it? Uh, we've had multiple clients, we've had some sellers wanting to build their plan around uh, the upcoming Fed announcement and expectation rates were going to drop, expecting mortgage rates to follow. Uh, we've had emails coming in from clients, hey, when are the mortgage rates going to actually reflect the change that happened in the marketplace? And it's just a big misconception. The Fed funds rate is actually influenced primarily by the, the Fed funds rate is the rate that banks charge each other to borrow money. It's a short term loan rate. Uh, it does affect credit cards. It does affect like home equity lines of credit and some other uh, economic factors as far as borrowing money but it does not directly affect uh, mortgage rates. It does influence mortgage rates, it's one factor, but mortgage rates are highly influenced by inflation, by jobs reports, by economic uh, outlook and sentiment and things like that uh, for, for long-term mortgage rates. So what happened over the last few months is it was very expected that the Fed was going to do a significant rate reduction, which they did, they did a 50 basis point reduction. For the few months leading up to this drop, the drop was last week, as you know, but the, for the few months leading up to it, mortgage rates had already started to adjust in anticipation of the drop. So by the time the Fed dropped the rate, the mortgage market already reflected the expectation that was going to happen. So it really didn't change anything. In fact, I think the market slightly worsened for mortgage rates uh, in a reaction to that. So, so a big misconception. Uh, it does sometimes overall, it does, they're both tied to the treasury. So overall it will uh, usually kind of go, you know, ebb and flow together but it definitely doesn't mean it's going to react right away. A lot of times the mortgage rates are uh, influenced ahead of time in anticipation of what's expected. So for example, later this year, there's another expectation for an additional Fed drop for the Fed funds rate. Uh, maybe as much as 50 basis points again. If that happens, then the mortgage rates probably won't change a whole lot. If they do a bigger drop than that, then we could see a good uh, reduction in mortgage rates. But if the Fed doesn't do quite the drop that's expected, mortgage rates could worsen as far as an immediate reaction is concerned. But most mortgage professionals do expect rates for mortgages to uh, continue to, to slightly improve in the months to come and quarters to come. Uh, but nothing significant, uh, I don't think we expect. I do not recommend you put your housing shopping on hold, hoping for better rates. Again, buy now, home prices just keep going up in the long term. You can always refinance if rates get good enough to do so. Uh, and just to encourage you, mortgage rates have changed significantly. In, in the high of 2023, we were seeing average mortgage rates around 8.125, 8.25. And now we're seeing mortgage rates down in the low sixes to mid sixes. So it's already more, probably about one and a half points uh, down from what it was just about a year ago at its peak. So significantly better situation than we were in recent future. So I hope that creates a little bit more information or clarity for you. I'm gonna include a link below. Uh, it's an article from Nerd Wallet that helps unpack this a little bit further. I know a lot of folks just have their, a hard time getting their head around this uh, and understandably so. It's very confusing when you see the headlines. So hope that helps. If you need anything, reach out to us. We'd love hearing from you. All the best from Team Farnham. Talk to you soon.